So uh, in Zhou, it comes from spearmanship. So O Sensei used to actually practice with a spear that was about 12 feet long or something like that. But in Zhou, the length of the Zhou, you just pretty much want it just to come up to your arm hip. Okay. Too short is no good. Too tall is no good. Okay, so properly gripping the Joe for Juntetsuki, for all strikes in general, I want half of my pinky to be hanging off the end. The reason why is I want to take advantage of the length of the Joe. If I grab it here, then I lost one foot of range. So, Juntetsuki, not like this. Juntetsuki tried to grab the end, okay? Try to grab the end, not like this. Don't miss. Okay. Try to grab the end. Okay. Draw back, thrust. So when practicing, the proper grip position on your joint is about shoulder width. Okay. That's too far. This hand is too close to my opponent. Okay. I want my about like right here. So. If I'm practicing, strike, come back, here, this is about correct. Okay? It's a compromise between generating movement and protecting my front hand. I don't want to be like this. Okay. Actually, this front hand, I want to bring my, even hide my elbow. So, from here, shoulder width. When I strike, from here, it's about shoulder width. Okay. Right here. When I strike your energy, my hand is too close. Okay. Strike, it's about shoulder width. Okay. It's a compromise between protecting my front hand from my opponent's weapon and, generate, and generating movement. So, if you see your hands like here, wider than shoulder width, then this hand is in danger, okay? From here, about shoulder width. Shoulder width, like about shoulder width, like here. This is too small. That's too wide. About shoulder width. Enough that you can comfortably handle the Joe and put power into it later on. So Aiki Joe came from spear, not from bow staff. So when I thrust, I'm not just going back and forth. I'm not just poking. From here, draw back, hide the tip. Rotate. I want to make the Joe rotate. To make the jaw rotate, my hands rotate. Rotate. Like a spearhead, it's going to drill into your opponent. So the jaw, draw back as it comes forward, rotates. Rotates. Rotate. Rotates. So the Kamai and Joe is a little bit different than Aikido or even Aikiken. So if you look at my feet, if you look at this line of fire, 
one foot, and then my heel are like lined up. Okay. And my body is turned sideways. This jaw is right in front of my foot. So from here, I'm thinking of becoming like a wedge shape. This jaw is the tip of the wedge right here. This jaw is what protects me from my opponent's attack. From this way, I'm on a line of fire. I'm not like here, all target. Turn, make my body sideways. This is always in front. This, this jaw should be straight up and down. My hand, this is too high, that's too low. See, I can't grip it. Just bring it low enough that I can maintain a comfortable grip to control my jaw. I can deflect, I can deflect, deflect, you know, deflect, then I can strike. So from here, this jaw, this, this kamai is your castle. This is the tip of the wedge. I'm a wedge right here. My body is not like this. Sideways. Heels pretty much lined up. Body sideways. This the jaw is always in the front of my front foot. Heels pretty much lined up. Body sideways. This the jaw is always in the front of my front foot. So in Aiki Jo, this red line signifies the line of fire. I always want to deliver my attack or the technique off the line of fire. So for example, Jun Jitsuki, back, I'm off the line of fire. My body is always on one side of the Jo. If I do Yoga Nuji, I'm always off the line of fire. My body is on one side of the Jo. Show me Nuji. Off the one side of the jaw. Okay. Sweep up. See, I'm off on, I'm always off the line of fire. So cut, 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 cut. I'm always off the line of fire. So one of the rules in Joe is keep your front hand. Still, okay. when they say quiet, keep it still. Thrust. Or, like Yapitsky, thrust. So some techniques in Joe require you to keep the Joe level. For example, here in this ready position, you can see the length. Keep the Joe level. So ideally, they only see the tip. Draw back, keep it level. When I thrust, keep it level. Okay. When I do Gyakitsuki, I want to keep it level. Okay. So keeping it level keeps me pressing my opponent and hiding the length and protecting myself. Okay. Keep the jaw. Level, level, level. From Yokomenuchi, from here, when I strike, when I want to transition, I don't want to show like this. Strike. Remember, front hand still. Keep the jaw level. Hide the tip. Okay. Then, hide the tip. Strike. Hide the tip, keep it level. Sweep. Hide the tip, keep it level. Sweep. Sweep. Strike. Okay. So one of the big things in your practice is keeping your shoulders down. Not just for weapons, but for all your technique. Not putting your power up into your shoulders and nothing down here in your legs. You want to drop your shoulders, keep your shoulders down. Use your center or use your legs, use your leg power. 
I use my leg power and my body power. I don't use my shoulders this way. Okay. Keep your shoulders down. Okay. Try to relax your upper body. You can put as much power in your lower body as you want to, but your upper body should stay relaxed. Okay. Focus, but relaxed. So in your Joe movement, what you want to do is not just swing it, but you want to press your opponent back and get rid of all your openings in your defense. So, for, so if there's no focus in my movement, it might look like this. Some mistakes in Gapkinski, the tip goes too wide. Another one is the tip just comes up, which is fine depending on the application. Or your hand, front hand moves too much. You don't have accuracy. You want the tip to always go towards your opponent and okay? not away from your opponent. You're always attacking. So the attack starts from now. Strike down. Okay? Not just and not like turn my body too much to the side and I'm hitting an imaginary opponent. Always focus on your opponent and the target. Big sweep strike, zero in on your target. So a few things about Yukonuchi from here. When you come like this way, you don't want to hit from in front of your face. You always want to hit from behind from the side of your head. Okay, feet together. Coming in front, I don't generate enough movement. You always want to generate movement with the Joe. Movement equals energy, energy equals power. So, big arc strike. Not, let me see. Just hand. Okay. Later on from here, turn your body, strike. Use your whole body. Okay. Not 